Hello guys, we're here with uh, Kashaf from Sky Harbor. Uh, thank you very much for your time. And thank you for having how excited are you to play uh, at Euroblast this year? Really excited. I mean, it's always, it feels like coming home, you know, when we play Euroblast. This is the third time we've been playing Euroblast. Yeah. We did 2012, we did 2013. So after three years, it feels like coming home. You know, it's a good feeling. Yeah. And this is actually uh, the kickoff date for your new tour with Modern Day Babylon and Sid Ryan, yeah. who played yesterday a good show. Yes. Were you there? Uh, we couldn't be there unfortunately yeah. because we were rehearsing. We had our one and only rehearsal yesterday. Yeah. Okay. So it's, it's like uh, we, we, I would have really liked to come yeah. because the lineup yesterday was amazing. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, I mean we finished at like 11 p.m. How do you feel about this uh, tour package you got together with the guys from Modern Day Babylon? I think it's really good. Um, you know, like we're all young artists. You know, like none of us is like huge. Artists, you know? We're still finding our feet. We're getting there slowly, slowly. Um, the important thing is that everyone's releasing really good music. I feel like you know, these two bands, uh, Situ and MBB, both they're putting out some amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, fantastic musicians, which is the most important. Thing, you know? So, um, and they're good friends of ours, obviously. Like Situ, I've known him for so long now. You know? so, I, we had the option of basically, uh, because it was our headline, so we had the choice of you know, we could choose who we take out with us. So he was the obvious one. Yeah. We asked him and he said, yeah. Why wouldn't he? Yeah, why wouldn't he? It's such a great package. Yeah, we get to hang out and you know, we basically play music with friends for yeah. so it's Which is awesome. Which is awesome. Yeah. So you just said you had like this one rehearsing yesterday. Yeah. Um, what was it like? Was it like getting together and just thinking, oh, we need more time to do this, or was it like... That's like the story of our lives, I think. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, because everyone lives so far away, yeah. so we don't get to, like, rehearse on a regular basis. Okay? So it was a case of, like, everyone fly in, spend one day just, you know, putting all of the stuff together because your rig and, you know, all your equipment, everything is, like, separate, right? So we have to put it in a rack and make sure all the connections are fine and just troubleshooting all of that stuff, it takes a really long time, like, much longer than you think. It can take, like, a full day to just make sure that all your cables are connected. Mm -hmm. Because there's in-ear monitors and, like, there's MIDI and backing tracks yeah. and click tracks and axe effects and, you know, all of that junk and stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, we, in, we had two days which we said we would rehearse, but we ended up spending 90% of the time on just getting shit ready. Yeah. And 10% just being like, okay, do you remember your parts? Do you remember your parts? Let's just do this once and yeah. then hope for the best. Okay. So we're hoping for the best. And how does it feel to be together again as a band? It feels awesome. Yeah, like, uh, we talk all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, we've been working on an album uh, all this while, like for the last one year or so. We're in touch, like, 24 7. Okay. Like, we have a WhatsApp group where everyone's yeah. just like all the time. Just, hey, what do you think of the that? So, we're all talking all the time. But yeah, it's it's good to be like, you know, yeah. all together again. But then, you know, when we did the US tour last year, again, for the first one week, it felt like, okay, you're still getting used to the idea of being around these people all the time. But now it just feels like a few hours and it's like, okay, cool, we're in tour mode. Okay. So, let's do it. That's nice. So, and uh, as you work on your songs, is it like just connecting via the internet and sending ideas or do yeah. you meet up uh, sometime and get everything? We do. I mean, three of us live in India, so yeah. we meet up as much as we can mm -hmm. so every couple of months or something like that. So. But it's all on the computer. Okay. So everything is always done on the computer. So, I mean, even when we're jamming and we're writing and playing, but we record everything. Okay. You know, because it's like if, sorry, so two of us have got an idea and we record it, then that's the only way we can communicate it to the other guys who are not in the country. So there's this Dropbox folder which is shared with everyone yeah. that just keeps getting updated all the time. <laughs> I can show it to you, it's hilarious. It's like idea 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 42, okay. 43. So it's like, do you think it would be easier if you would stay in the same city actually, or do you think it would be like. It would be easier, okay. for sure, in a lot of ways. But I think it it is very unique what it is right yeah. now. You know? so, and I think it works. Uh, we would we would probably have not gotten, say, Eric as our singer if the requirement was that everyone needs to be in the same city yeah. because uh, he's on the other side of the yeah. planet. But, uh, so, I mean, it's this fact that we can work even though we're not in the same place has allowed for some very interesting things to happen with our band which I don't think 
would have happened if we were, you know, the kind of band that lives yeah. in the same city. So, I mean, it would be easier though, for sure, no question about it. Yeah. But like, I'm, I'm not complaining. Yeah. Like, I mean, I'm okay with, with things the way they are. Yeah. And um, on the topic of Eric, mm -hmm. uh, you did a whole US tour with him, you mentioned. And how well did he integrate himself into the band and were there some cool experiences? I would say he integrated himself really well because yeah. his background is actually completely nothing to do with any of this music that you've seen. Like, it's all progressive bands, experimental bands. Like his background is all rock. Yeah. You know, like Breaking Benjamin and Born. Yeah, and that's those... actually on his Facebook. Yeah. It's yeah. very visible. It, yeah, and it's very, it's it's very cool. interesting yeah. because when you have that background and you bring it into this sort of context, you know, like the musical result is, is very cool. Yeah. Yes. And uh, because it, it, I feel like what has worked for us musically in the past, why I think a certain number of people have got behind this is because although the music is progressive, it's experimental, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's technical and all of that stuff, but it's also accessible. Yeah. You know, I think people can get into it even though they might not necessarily be musicians. So I think non-musicians can also enjoy. No, I'm not going to <laughs> I think non-musicians can also enjoy what we do. Yeah. So I think that's uh, that's probably because of the alt rock background that we had. I mean, not that Dan couldn't do it. Dan was also amazing. Yeah, you know, of course. Uh, yeah, Eric has that sensibility. Like yeah. it's very, he writes very catchy uh, vocal lines. So. Yeah, his, his vocal lines are really impressive, especially those highs yeah. in uh, Blindside. Yeah. Um, how many takes did he take to record it? Do I have no that? idea. <laughs> because he recorded it at his own end and he just sent the files and we were like, whoa, can you do that stuff live? And he said, yeah, I can do it live. His range is like, really okay, cool, I'll wait and see. But then when we did the tour, like every day he would just hit it. Like you're going to hear him do it again tonight. That's amazing. That's really amazing. So, um, how long will you stay at the festival? Only today, right? Yeah, we have, I mean, um, the tour starts today yeah. and tomorrow we have to be in Reading in the UK so that's about a 10 hour drive so we'll probably leave at around 11 pm mm -hmm. maybe midnight ish but uh, yeah. we'll be around for the, for at least for today yeah. is there any band you're especially looking forward to uh, I'm looking forward to everyone that's playing today yeah. you know? I believe Vail and I are playing today uh, yep yeah I mean it's really good to see them you know we've supported them once at Techfest before it was amazing unbelievable band. Uh, I was really looking forward to coming yesterday and catching animals and then let us circus yeah. and all of that, but we couldn't make it because we were rehearsing. Yeah, it's really sad, definitely sad as well. Yeah, it's it, well. Man, you know, I saw them last time at Europe last yeah. 2013, they were so good, you know, so I was really upset that I couldn't see them, but maybe some other time. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure our paths will cross at some point. Yeah, that's true. What? So, that will be it, I think. Is there something you would like to add or something that needs to be said about Sky Harbor? Uh, not really, we're working on a new album, you know, check it out when it comes, hope you enjoy it and if there's anyone who's coming out to any of the shows, just send us a message and uh, you know, we'd be more than happy to meet and talk to everyone, whoever wants to, you know, hang out with the band, we're always down for that kind of stuff, so yeah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man.